All right, so in this lesson, we're gonna learn the basics of what makes up the eyes so that we can draw sexy comic book eyes. First off, there's the pupil. Then around the pupil, the pupil is the black part. Around the pupil, that's the color part of the eye. That's called the iris. Then we have this lower eyelid here, which usually isn't represented in comic books for sexy females. Then you have the upper eyelid here, which is often represented, especially if you have like sultry eyes and the eyes are slightly closed. Then you have the whites of the eyes inside here. Those are the basic parts of the eye. Then of course you have your eyebrow, which kind of makes up the whole, the whole eye, kind of brings it all together. Now what's really important is how the eye looks from, from different angles and stuff. And understand that there's also the parts of the eye that are important to see and what makes up the eye, like the anatomy of the eye. So first off, you want to kind of start off thinking about the skull. And when you have the skull, you have these eye sockets. And in the eye sockets, you have your eyeball. Let's say we just had like a basic skull here. All right, so it's the top part of the skull. So we're now let's say you have the eye. Now the eyeball it fits inside the skull, and there's all these muscles that you know go around this part of the eye, then you have skin and stuff like that. So what's important to understand here, just wanted to show that really fast before we continue on. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and just delete it this way, it's faster. What's important to understand is that when you have the eyeball, you have this, the whole entire eyeball is like a circle. Now on that eyeball, you have your actual pupil and iris. The pupil can be big and can be small, it just depends on, on the dilation. Now that could be pointing all different directions, right? You can have an eyeball and let's say they're looking up this way like that and you have the eye like this. The skin's going to stay the same, right? The skin's still going to go over the eyeball the exact same way and we'll discuss that in just a second. And so you're still going to have the eye looking up here, but it's going to be covering a lot of the eye, right? Because you have that pupil there. So what comes over the eye here, and it's usually you have your, your upper eyelid, which usually is falling when you're relaxed, something around like this here. And you have your lower lid, which is usually like that here. Now what's important about this is that you have, usually the eye is at the top part of the lid here when you're just relaxed, like so. Right, so then the rest of the eye is covered. You have a little bit of the eyelid here. Um, it depends on a little bit of that lower eyelid like this. This makes this three-dimensional look. Another thing that's important to understand about the eye is that there's an upper and lower lid. And it's best to see this, I think, from 3, 4, C, just really fast before we get into actually drawing the eye here. You have this upper lid. So if you were to think about the eyeball, this is being the, the round part of the eye. Remember, we have the skin that's coming over it. You have your skin that's coming down like this here. And it's coming like this here. And you have that kind of upper lid, the lower lid. And you have like your eyelashes and stuff coming off right here all the way around. Eyelashes come off this lower part. Let's say the eye is slightly oval here because it's being turned in three quarters view. Like so. Now what's important here is you have, I'm going to exaggerate this, but you have this upper lid here. And it goes like that. So if you're looking up at the eye, you actually have a thickness to that lid. And same thing with the lower, the lower lid, there's a thickness to it. And the eyelashes don't grow off this part of the eye, they actually grow off right here, off the skin. Right, this is that part of your eyeball, when you look at it in the mirror, it's kind of uh, pinkish colored. And um, it's hard to put makeup on that part of the eye. And the upper lid here as well, usually uh, females won't even put makeup on this under part of the eyelid. You have to kind of tilt your head back and look up at your eye to see this part of your eyelid. It's the same as the bottom. And the eyelashes actually grow off this upper part here. Now, from the front view, it's kind of hard to see that, but sometimes the bottom lid, depending on the angle of the eye, you'll be able to see a little bit of that, that lid right there. And then the lashes are going to be growing off this part here. Right, so there's this whole part here that you can either color black or not. But I just want, it's rarely that you actually draw these parts of the eye in comic books, but it's important to understand that they're there. So if you have an eye and you're looking up, right, you have your basic eye shape here. I like to do this kind of shape here. 
So the shape I like to start with. We'll talk about that in a second. You have your eye, you're kind of, let's say you're kind of looking up. You would be able to see a little bit of this, of the eyelid right here. And if the eye is looking down, inversely also, if you're looking down here, you'd be able to see a little bit of the lid. So let's go ahead and draw that kind of same basic shape. We're gonna make it a little bit uh, thinner here since we're looking down. Draw some eye like that, have the eyelid. And just draw parts of it here coming down. You would see some of this bottom lid right here. Like that, so you'd see it has a thickness to it. And the eyelashes would come off of this part here. You'd have eyelashes come off here and there. Since the person's kind of looking down, the eyelashes would kind of cover. You get the idea, right? So there's an upper lid that has a thickness, there's a lower lid. Just keep that in mind, and this is the part of your lid the full part of the skin and the skin comes down right here and wraps around. So that's the full part and this is a 3D piece right here that goes like that, 3D piece that comes up like this. Right, so you have this kind of 3D look to the, to the lid right here and that's how you get different kinds of shading. And this is important when you do want to draw more complicated eyeballs. So keep this as a, as a basic idea or template as how the eyes look from different angles and what makes up the mechanics of that. That's very important. Now let's go ahead and draw a basic eyeball here and understanding these mechanics. So what I like to do is start out with the rhombolus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and sketch this first. So the rhombolus is basically like a slanted rectangle. So you have these slanted here and here. That right there is a, that right there is a rhombolus. Just a slanted rectangle, very easy to do. And then we wanna take that and modify it just a little bit. This doesn't represent the inside of the eyeball. So you wanna keep it kind of, you know, the right size of the eye. We'll get in, into more of the, when we go into the drawing the face, a little more details about the face, like we already did before, adding all the parts in the face, kind of how to fit the eyes into the face. But for now, let's understand the eye as, as its own individual unit. It's important that here, you're gonna draw and kind of curve this line up a little bit and then kind of round this line out and kind of come down just a little bit. This is the basic shape. This is the shape I like to do. You'll see this shape used quite often. Um, I know that one comic book I really like a lot, the artwork, Michael Turner's, Michael Turner's work, um, rest in peace, that did like Aspen and Fathom and stuff. He did these really, really cool looking like eyes. And I, li I like the way he, like, he did his eyebrows. It really influenced how I draw a lot. But you'll see these the same kind of shape throughout a lot of different comic book eyeballs, especially in more, more modern comics. Kind of curve this down just a little bit here, and then come this way. Now I really like to draw the, ed the edge here, and if I do, it's just, it's hinted at. Notice I don't like close all the lines. That's a really important trait to learn when drawing comic books, to not close all your lines. You'll find that if you, you leave open lines, your work will look better. Then I like to come with the makeup on a little bit on the inside of the eye here. And then this is the basic shape of the eye right there. That right there, you just draw the makeup onto the eye itself. If the eyeball is in a relaxed position, just draw it down to the, the circle. Remember, there's a, eye, a full entire sphere inside of there, and so the lid is coming over part of that sphere. And because of that, we wouldn't see the whole entire pupil like this, right? You gotta imagine it being a sphere. So imagine this draw, draw all the way through if you have to. Remember that the pupil is gonna still fall in the middle of that sphere. Um, typically, comic book eyes have larger pupils when they're looking sexy and things like this, when they're angry or surprised and you might reduce the size of people to a little dot. I like to kind of imagine this shape right here. This is like where the main light's hitting. The light hitting here, a little, little reflection there. I'm gonna have darkness on the top, but more darkness on this side here because the light's gonna be coming from the right-hand side. So that's really all you need for the basic eye. Now, if you want to add a little more detail, let's say you have time to, and the eyebrows too, I like to draw it with this zigzag. So the basic shape to keep in mind is here, up, and then down. It's like this, the shape right here. Make this part right here a little bit thick, this part a little bit thinner, and this part here is a little bit thick like that. There's a lot of different ways you can draw the eyebrow, but I really like this particular eyebrow uh, shape dynamic. It looks really nice. You can add different kinds of makeup onto the eye and that really changes a lot. So you can actually change your characters without having to change the eyes too much just by changing 
how you draw the makeup on the eye, and most all comic book characters have makeup on the eye. We'll get into other lessons later about how to reduce the details of eyes and stuff like that. When you're drawing a face that's really tiny, and let's say you know it's only taking up this small little panel, and you have this whole body, and the head's just this big, you know, there's not much you can do there as far as the detail. Or say you know the head is like this big. If the head's that big, I have to draw my eyes super small. I don't have much room to work with. So in that case, you're pretty much limited. And I'll teach different ways to kind of, you know, reduce the overall shape of the eye so it still looks like an eye. And you notice that still registers as an eye, even though it's very tiny. But we'll get into that in more details later, how to reduce the entire face when it's being small on a panel. All right now, let's go ahead and ink this really quickly here for those that are interested or curious in how to ink your sketches. So I'm gonna pick a size like eight brush in Manga Studio. And this is, you can do this with pencil and paper and, pen and, and ink as well. Just pick your favorite uh, ink brush. And I like to have just a couple little details here. I'm gonna give her a slightly different makeup this time. That way we have something that looks a little different than the what's above there. Again, I like to like when I draw all this is I like to kind of keep it sketchy. Oops, that's a little too, too thick of lines there. I like to keep all this a little bit sketchy so that you know, there's some, I don't know, almost looks like like hair in a way, like, you know, because eyebrows are made a bunch of individual hairs. I don't try to draw all those details. Comic, comic books is, is all about simplification. Right, so I'm going to come off here and I'm just kind of add a couple little lines here. Just kind of represent that there's, there's some stuff going on there. So something like this here. Come down, I'm going to come off with this part of the eye as well. I have the eye, a little bit of eyelid there. Now the eyelid is, is another thing you can also kind of like simplify. You can kind of come in this way and that way to so just have the, it all depends on where you want the highlight hit, hitting the eye, but something like that could work. And then for the eye, eyelash part here, I'm deciding how I want, I know that's the overall shape I want there, just deciding on how much detail I want to give the eyelashes here. And so sometimes it's really cool to kind of have this, this uh, really um, elaborate kind of thick under lashes here and then come up and we can have this lash come off like this here. That could be the overall shape of the eye. Another lash here like this. And we're gonna kinda just kinda go with the outline of the lash there a little bit. And so we're kinda making these abstract shapes that represent the eyelashes and this can be a really cool effect. And again, you'll see these different, I'm trying to, I'm going to go through as many different techniques as I can that you'll see in different kind of comic book art. And then eventually, you know, you're going to want to develop your own style. And that's going to be, you know, people will be able to recognize that. You're just going to naturally start drawing the stuff from your imagination. And you're going to have influences, obviously, but as you draw it from imagination, you're going to, you're going to get more and more stylized and your own style will start showing through. It just takes a while sometimes to get that style. I'm going to kind of what I like to do here is I like to make the eye like this and just had a couple of lines right in here. And I can like hint at this, the light being hit right there by just a couple of little lines and dots. And then I'm gonna take white and add my, my two highlights there. And that's pretty much it. Now you have an inked eyeball. And if we take out the underlay there, you have it. So that's how to draw the base of the eye. Just keep in mind that you do have those parts of the eye. So if you want to draw certain types of details, it's, it's important to understand that those are there. When we get more into the entire mechanic of the face and the um, mapping of the face, like the 3D mapping of the face, we'll get into like how there's a, like we have the nose, the nose bridge is right here. And you have this kind of sticking out part of the nose here. And all this right here, this kind of like sinks inward right here. And then it kind of starts to sink and then it kind of puffs out right here where the eyelid's at. And then it kind of puffs out right here as well. So we'll get into like a 3D mesh of the face. And that really helps understand how to draw certain things or why you might want to draw certain lines. Like you're wondering, hey, well, why does a comic book artist, you know, sometimes they'll, they'll draw these little lines right here for the nose and sometimes a little line right there. And the nose will be, you know, somewhere down here. And they might, you know, simplify or whatever. And then maybe, you know, sometimes they'll even draw this right here and they'll kind of draw this, this line right here kind of curving in like this, like round. And it's because all this right here dips in. Again, we'll get into that in the 3D mapping. That way you can understand where you're placing your lines and why you're placing them. Understanding the, the anatomy behind the face will help you understand where and why to place lines in certain places because you're trying to reveal that anatomy, trying to reveal that form of the face. 
All right, so that's it for the basics of drawing eyes. Again, we'll get into how to draw different types of eyes in another lesson, and also drawing eyes from different angles as we learn the three-fourths view and the, the, the side view. What's really important is that the three-fourths view of, of the entire face, and therefore all the eye, the nose, and the mouth, and everything, is a mixture of first view, that is what we're doing now, the front view, and then prof the profile view, which is a side view. We're gonna be combining those two together to make the three quarters view, and then it'll all come together. But I think it's really important to understand the basics of the eye, the nose, and the mouth, and the front view of the face before we go on to other views and understanding of the parts of the anatomy of the face. All right, so thank you for watching this lesson. Stay tuned now for what to do as an exercise. All right, really quickly before we end out this one, I just want to show you something you could do to really also differentiate this eye. Uh, one thing that's popular is to actually make this part larger so we can really pull this part of the eye and make it much opener and wider right here. So let's open this whole part of the eye up like that. And now when we redraw blackness here into the eye, it's going to be like that. I'm going to kind of give, again, a thicker part using a smaller brush so I get more detail in here. This is kind of taking a uh, more open eye, more white of the eye. Sometimes showing more white of the eye can be a more sexy look of eye. So this is typically you know, what I do from my style here. This is something you might see something more from like Michael Turner from, from Fathom Comics. Of course, you can get ton, tons of different types of styles of eyes. You just want to look at a lot of comic books to kind of see them. But we'll go through some of them, like I said, in later lessons. All right, so for real this time, that's the end of this lesson. Stay tuned for the exercises or the exercise.